Okay, we're rolling. In this video, we're gonna be making the easiest, most delicious mashed sweet potato with the maple twist that's gonna be low calorie. And also, I'm gonna spatchcock a turkey and I'm gonna show you exactly what we do and how we get it done. And then honestly, a not so super healthy cheesecake for Friendsgiving, woo! So you just tell them why you're in a different kitchen? We're gonna be getting that in a second. If you like a bunch of high flavored, delicious fat burning recipes, make sure to this channel a subscribe because that's what we're all about. We are pumping out these videos. Now, I wanna address one thing. You probably noticed that we are in a very different apartment. We had an apartment fire. My mom said, make sure he doesn't say we had an apartment fire because then people are gonna think your cooking caused the fire. So she's like, make sure he says the apartment building. She That's makes fine. a good point. Yeah, she does. We had a building fire in our apartment. It was not from my cooking. It was not from anything we made. We had water damage in the unit. We had to move. We're very tired. Our routines and lives are just totally disrupted. It's been chaotic. But what's the number one rule, Justin? But the number, I was actually gonna say that. <laughs> the number one rule of show business is that the show must go on. That's why we're in a new kitchen, that's why we're a little bit late, so sorry for that. Anyway, with all that being said, thanks for watching and let's get to the show. Before we jump into it, you might wanna know, no one got hurt, no animals got hurt. Our lovely poor Dilbert was in the crate all alone. He's actually super traumatized, so that's one of the hardest parts about this is working with him. Thank you guys for bringing with us. We're grateful no one died, grateful for this. We can eat great food, share it with everyone, so let's get to the recipes. If you want these recipes, go to the J Bauer Fit Instagram. There is gonna be your real post. What you gotta do is interact with that one, comment the word that we say. We're gonna send you all these recipes and you're gonna love it. All right, this is straight up not going to be the healthiest, lowest calorie, low sugar thing. Part of Thanksgiving is actually eating what you want. Cinnamon, plain Greek yogurt, flour, a whole bunch of baking ingredients. We have some organic pumpkin. We're gonna go ahead and get this thing kicked off. What we're gonna do is preheat the oven at 350, and we're gonna do a bit of a grease of the pan. You don't really see butter very often in this channel, but hey, for Thanksgiving. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and make the pie crust. You can get one, you can make your own. We're gonna be doing our own today out of these graham crackers with cinnamon. So we're gonna do nine sheets of the graham cracker. Man eats nine graham crackers in one sitting. All right, so we are pulverized. Dilly's super interested too. So we're gonna have just a bit of chunks to give it a little bit of that extra texture. Now we're gonna go ahead and melt four tablespoons of butter. Now we got one tablespoon of sugar. Let's do a little more. Hi, Dilbert. All right, wow, we're going in. Like I said, we are going absolutely in today. And we are making a beautiful, nice, crusty, flat little graham cracker crust. Mm. Hey, who needs to buy a crust and you can make it look that good? Perfect. So this is gonna be going in for eight minutes. Get nice and crispy and in it goes. While that's cooking, we're gonna make the filling. We are gonna be doing two full packets, cream cheese. All right. Mm. Okay, so we have this hand mixer from I think the 1980s. What is that movie, The Hot Sub Time Machine? If I use this, what if I go to the 80s? Mix it for about two minutes and we might wind up in 1982. Oh. <laughs> I knew that one was broken. You might just have to use the one. <laughs> Just so everyone knows, you're supposed to use the paddle, not the whisker. Is that nice? Boop. <laughs> so, this guy is done. Oh, this looks pretty good. All right, then we got a nice little graham cracker crust here. Then we're gonna let this cool and continue our filling journey. Here's the 5% of healthy stuff. We're doing half a cup of plain Greek. All right, and two thirds cup pumpkin. We have this uh, organic pumpkin from Trader Joe's. Two thirds cup sugar. All right, next up is vanilla extract. Teaspoon. Ah, this is kind of like garlic. Give it a little extra. Okay, and now we're gonna turn down to 325. Now we're gonna mix all of this with the mixer. Now I'm gonna crack the egg and throw it in. Be real. <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> that's good. Okay, that's one egg. Now we're gonna add the second in. Skills. Just the combat pop. All right, two tablespoons of flour going in. We're gonna add just a dash of cinnamon. You can use pumpkin spice as an alternative. Now let's mix it on up. It wants you. <laughs> oh, what? What does it want me to do? <laughs> what does it need from me? We have our filling. I can't believe it either. Oh, oh yeah. Dilly. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna fill up our little pie crust. And actually this should be very gooch. Well, it's more like a pie. Yeah, it's more of a pie. I mean, a, I mean a, like a layer cake. Yeah, it's more like... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna bake it for at 325 for 45 minutes. Now we're gonna go in. Perfect. So what we're gonna do, kick off Super simple recipe. This is the easiest sweet potato recipe ever. Give this a spray of this avocado oil, which is zero calorie. We're gonna cut them in half just to make the rest of this cooking process that much easier. Next up, we're just gonna give it a drizzle of salt and then it's gonna go in for about 45 minutes to an hour and it's gonna be tasty and surprisingly low calorie for the amount of flavor that you get. In it goes. All right, so while those are cooking, we're actually gonna prepare our turkey. What we did yesterday was did a bit of a salt and a garlic season. So we have Himalayan pink salt, and then I got this thing. Let me show you. I got this mixed up garlic seasoning, and we kind of made our own. So we've been doing what we call a dry brine for almost 16 hours. So this, what it really helps with is getting that crispy skin. It's gonna be juicy. It's not gonna need to cook for three hours. So in my opinion, this is one of the best ways to prepare a turkey. So with the injection, we're gonna be using the Italian seasoning. We're gonna be doing garlic powder, salt. We're gonna be adding butter. And then that way we're gonna inject the breast, inject the thighs, really make sure this turkey doesn't get dry at all. So in the spirit of Thanksgiving, we're having ourselves some butter. We are chopping up a full stick, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. So with these injection needles, you wanna make sure they have a nice big tip. So this one has multiple holes, so when you're bringing those herbs out, it doesn't get stuck. All right, so we have our better right here. Probably a good teaspoon of salt. Next up is gonna be garlic powder, which is always a really safe bet, just to add a whole bunch of flavor. We're gonna be going with about a tablespoon of that. Next is gonna be the Italian seasoning. This is actually a really good uh, substitute. And then lastly, we're just gonna have a bit of brown sugar. Again, scale it up or down based on what you want. I'm probably gonna go with the tablespoon right there. So there is our injection. It smells pretty dang good. It smells like kind of an Italian restaurant, which is pretty much exactly what we're shooting for. That's Camera good. girls staying hydrated. So now we're gonna be making our maple glazed rub for the outside of the turkey. And Thanksgiving spirit is another stick of butter. Ah. What we're gonna add next for maple glaze is about four cloves of garlic. We have this pre-minced garlic that's about two tablespoons. Next is going to be a quarter cup of maple syrup and quarter cup. Salt to taste, and then pepper to taste. Again, same game plan. He'll be struggling with the move. We lucked out, we found this little poultry bouquet. We're gonna leave some of them for presentation and decoration on top. So here we go, we got some thyme. We got some uh, rosemary right here. We're gonna chop this up. I will be waiting time after time. All right, so our pie is coming out. Keep in mind, this is more of a cheesecake, so a little bit of jiggle is okay. We're gonna set this aside. Oven, I understand. Thank you so much. We're gonna let that cool, we're gonna refrigerate, and then it is eating time. We're gonna go ahead and prep a few things. We're gonna put the onions and carrots in the bottom of our tray. We're also gonna add some of this beautiful Great Lakes Christmas ale. Oh yeah, that's my favorite workout. <laughs> now we have the big moment. It is time to spatchcock the turkey. We want to name it right now. Charlie? It's a female. Oh, how do you know? I can tell. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and use some poultry cutters right here just to cut along this spine. Spatchcocking always results in a juicier bird. So what exactly is spatchcocking? So spatchcocking is just the process of really removing the spine, flattening out the turkey, and then that way it's gonna cook more evenly. We just cut our spine out, flipping it over, 
And now comes the spatchcock moment. Now we're gonna move it onto our bed of onions and carrots. We're gonna go ahead and inject just about everything we can just to make it super, super juicy. Oh, goodness. There we go. Some of that right in here, pumping it into this breast. All right, here we go, other breast going in. Oh yeah, whoop, perfect. Just gonna go ahead and put all this butter on. Now it is time to do the maple glaze. So this has that maple butter, which is really good. This is all the herbs. Be nice and generous, nice and generous. And we have 10 people eating from this thing. So when you really think about it, take all of this divided by 10. It's a-okay to have a little bit more butter. The last thing is gonna be the Great Lakes Christmas sale. So just pouring this into the side, into the bottom. Now we're gonna check these sweet potatoes. What we're gonna do next is go ahead and throw our turkey in. And honestly, we're probably expecting hour and a half to hour 45 for this turkey. So let's throw it in and we'll check back in a bit. We're gonna complete the mashed sweet potatoes with the maple twist. This is gonna be incredibly easy. We have these roasted potatoes here. We're just gonna scoop all of this out and get it into here. So now we have our sweet potatoes and this is going to be the easiest, most delicious mashed maple sweet potato that I've ever had. When you think about calorie density, sweet potatoes and potatoes are much better than pasta and breads. And what we're gonna do to really up the ante just a bit is add a bit of maple syrup and then add a bit of cinnamon. We're gonna go in with two, three tablespoons and then cinnamon is gonna give it a little bit of that kick. Do you like it, Dylan? Here we go, we got some chopped pecans, very calorically dense. So here is our very, very easy maple mashed sweet potatoes. I'm super excited for this. All right, so other things, we're making regular potatoes, which are gonna be great. We got the turkey in here. We got the pie coming out. Is there anything else? Oh, stove tops. We got some stove tops. What else we got, Missy? We got salad. We got salad. Homemade cranberry sauce. Homemade cranberry sauce. Homemade spinach dip. Homemade spinach dip. Christmas ale. And we have each other. Uh-huh. Yeah. So let's cover it, let's let it cool off, make that gravy, and we are good to go. All right guys, that is gonna be it. Oh. <laughs> so that is gonna be it for this video. We have our beautiful spatchcock turkey here. We have our pecan, low calorie, maple mashed sweet potato, and then our pie that again, I'm not in love with, but is gonna be actually very, very good. Reach out on Instagram. We're gonna send you the recipes to all these things and then some. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Hope your holiday season is awesome. We are getting to grips with the moving and everything. So I appreciate you watching. Hope everything's great and I'll see you in the next one.